My name's Jake, and I'm going to be walking you through doing some building explosion effects with some really cool assets from Production Crate. The first thing we're going to want to do is track it. I'm going to select Mocha AE, and then we'll go ahead and click this Launch Mocha AE button. We're just going to look for a place in this footage that has high contrast and stays in frame the full time. And then we're going to click this button on the left to analyze forward. In the effects controls panel, click this big button that says create track data. Let's create a new null object. Change the layer export to your null and then click apply export. We should be all good to start working on our effect now that we have this tracked. Here on the Production Crate website, there's a lot of really cool new building explosion assets. Grab a couple of these and let's bring them over into After Effects. Now, if we bring out our hero building, it's obviously just gonna be floating there until we grab this pick whip and drag it to the null. And if we scrub through now, we can see it's sticking to the sky much more. John and this foreground building actually need to be in front of this stock layer. Select our footage and duplicate it. I'm gonna click this layer and we're gonna use the colorama effect. Change the preset from none to ramp gray. I'm gonna select somewhere here in the gray area and create a new perfect white. Now we're gonna select somewhere in here and create a new perfect black. Select the stock footage that I know is gonna be behind these layers and then grab the track mat pick whip and select the building explosion layer that we're currently working on. Press this button to change it to a luma mat you can already see it's doing its job pretty well. I went ahead and downloaded this World Breaker Shockwave from Production Crate. Let's drag that out into our main composition and let's put it above all of our buildings. Production Crate also has these really cool aerial explosions. I'll drag that out above everything we've done so far. The smoke trail and the missile that were rendered out of Cinema 4D are able to be added to our shot the exact same way as the buildings. If you don't have access to simulating something custom, there are a handful of good options on the Production Crate website. So let's go ahead and grab our main composition from the project panel and drag it down here to bring it into a fresh composition. Now here in this comp is where we're going to add our glow I'm using a plugin from the production crate LaForge suite called Easy Glow. I'm also going to use another plugin from the LaForge suite called Easy God Rays. Now let's go ahead and add in our camera shake. For that, I'm gonna be using Crate's camera shake script. For this particular shot, we're gonna change it to the jolt mode. And there we go, building explosion shot. 